Alright. Okay, guys, so here we go. This is lesson learned. Yeah, about to bust out some hard earned wisdom right now that's going to set us back on this project here. Okay, so one of the serious winners about this motor when we pulled it apart. So we said, we knew it was an early 03 truck, but we didn't realize it was early enough to still get the 12-valve, 24-valve rods, which was awesome. Awesome. I love it's, you know, it's essentially doing some of the work. Now, we wouldn't necessarily have swapped out rods on this build, but on another build, we would have. And, you know, in the future, maybe that will be handy for the owner of this truck to have a little beefier rod in there. Um, so yes, here goes. Um, I was getting ready. I had everything cleaned up on the number one and six. I was getting ready to put them together and then plasti gauge them, uh, clean the bearing shells and, um, got ready, dropped my first one in there. And I said, wait a second. Here, okay, that tang lines up. And then I grabbed a cap and I put, went to put it in the cap. Let me grab a cap, matter of fact. Um, so here's the number one cap. Grabbed it, cleaned it up. And guess what? So we grab number one. Slide it in there. Looks great. Except if you look down here, where is the position of that tang supposed to go? Exactly. So tang is on the right here. There, the tang is on the left. Wait a second. But this tang was on the left. So these are common rail connecting rod bearings, which if you order it by the year, which is exactly what our machinist did is he hooked us up. He said, yeah, I know I can get you guys a kit. So he hooked us up and he even had the rods, but he, there's no way he doesn't do enough of these to know. And I didn't spell it out for him. So my bad, um, these on common rails, the tangs, go right over the top of each other, as we see here, like so. Whereas in a 12 valve setup, you'd have one tang there and one tang over here. And that is exactly why if you're switching 12 valve rods out onto a common rail, matter of fact, I need to do a video just on that. Why you have to, you have, to have at least one set of them to be the cap side is different. So you have to have at least the cap side to go to match the 12 valve connecting rod. Um, so there it is, guys. We are stopped dead in our tracks till we can get some main bearing or some rod bearing caps in here. Um, I'm going to oil these guys back up so that they don't get hashed. Um, certainly no no reason why we can't use them in a different build that's standard. Um, so anyway, just to show you again, I happen to have a... Uh, this is a fractured cap, so this is off an 05 truck. I don't know whose truck it was. Probably had a Rusty's truck. But um, you can see there that the tangs on a common rail connecting rod cap and rod are on the same side where right where that shadow is would be about where it would be on a 12 valve. So anyway, thought I'd throw that in there as a cautionary tale. If you happen to be updating rods in your build, so you're using 12 valve rods, remember to get a set of 12 valve rod bearings to go with it and not common rail rod bearings because that will make all the difference in the world on whether or not you can finish out your build quickly. So there it is. I will do a special video on just that thing for you guys looking only at rod conversions, but there it is in terms of our whole build. 
All right. Talk to you later. Bye.